Hello, Farmdale family and anybody else out there that might be listening uh, today. Uh, we're just here. We're trying to do something a little different. Um, about a week or two ago, the Lord just kind of pressed on my spirit to kind of do this video series in which we are interviewing people within our congregation. Some of them have been here for several years. Some of them within the last few years. And uh, we're just going to kind of do that as an encouragement to all of you and kind of a get to know type of thing. Um, so tonight uh, we're gathered here getting to know Chuck and Teresa Hibbs, uh, who have become my friends. And we're just going to interview them a little bit about Farmdale and the Farmdale family. And so I'm appreciative that they came to do this tonight. And so I'm just going to start uh, by simply asking how long have uh, you actually been attending Farmdale? Uh, well, we've been in Farmdale now going on about a year and a half, so uh, over a year, so close to a year and a half. So a year and a half they've been attending here, and if if I were just to come out and say, what was it that kind of drew you in to Farmdale, what would your answer be? I'd say uh, we kind of, we're, we're going to church with my sister from a small town in, in western Kentucky. Uh, every time we would visit there, we'd go to church with them. Uh, small church, very family-oriented. Uh, we were trying to find a church here in the in the Louisville area. We attended several churches, but I just didn't get that that feeling. You know, there was just a certain feeling when I attended church at that uh, that small church. Uh, and uh, so my, my wife actually had had come here once with her cousin. Um, whose in-laws were coming here, had been here for years, and she recommended that I come here, we try it. So uh, we came one time, and I knew within the first 10 minutes. It was, you know, you come into Farmdale, and everyone greets you with a smile, a hug, a how you doing. Uh, literally, within the first 10 minutes we were here, we probably spoke to 10 people. Uh, and that's just something that we were missing, something that... that you didn't get at other churches and it just brought me back home to that it's that that small town feel uh not such a small church but again it's just it just felt like home it was a family feeling that kind of comes over you that it's really hard to describe but it was something that kind of hit your heart and you said wow now that feels like home you know it's interesting i can't wait to shake hands and hug again <laughs> Never thought I would enjoy that so much, and uh, we're missing that now. Teresa, any different answer than him? Uh, no, it's about it's about right. But you know, it has been hard, you know, not doing that in the church. But now, like the day I was just sad, and then we had a job by, and we can't do the social stuff, so we have to do social distancing, and that. It was awesome just having people to drive by and just to say hi and talk. Yes. Of course, she was talking about drive-bys. If you haven't heard our language around here yet, we're doing drive-bys. We're having people drive by homes, and uh, they're keeping distances. They can just come outdoors or stay on their sidewalk, stay the six, seven, eight, maybe even ten feet away, um, and uh, just say hello, talk, ask each other how we're doing, and then pray for one another. And so that's, that's what she's talking about, about the drive-bys, and that's kind of been helping us. Um, I would ask this question to you since you kind of brought it up. What are you missing now that this um, this pandemic has happened and we've all kind of experienced in that? We know that we're all trying to figure out different things. Probably most of us are even tired of hearing about it, uh, but it is reality and we're all trying to face it every day wondering what's next. Um, but with that, what do you feel like maybe you're missing most um, right now from the church family? I think it's just that in general. It's that family feeling. It's, you know, we, uh, you know, I don't live really close to my family. Uh, we don't have a lot of family around here. We don't have a lot of really close friends that we hang out with on a regular basis. So really, the, the folks from the church have become our family. Um, and we hang out as a family you come to church you again it's the hugging it's the how you doing it's how's your kids doing how are how are your uncles how are your dogs doing i mean we know one another here we know everything about one another um for the most part and that's just that's probably what's missing the most you feel disconnected and it, again it's it's you know I, I joined the army at a young age moved away and traveled around the world for, for many years 
Um, and it's kind of that same feeling. It's that feeling of isolation, of being away from your family, and just feeling a disconnect, like something there is missing. Uh, yeah, I mean, and, and, and during this time for a year and a half that they've been attending church here, I, I would say you both would agree that your journey of, with God, your relationship with God has come a long way. And that's through the church family, it's through the teaching, um, it's through uh, spending your time getting to know the Lord in your own time. And uh, it's really been really cool to watch not only them engage in the family, but uh, to see what the Lord is doing in their lives. Uh, well, that, that's all changed. Like I said, a lot of things have changed. But some things have remained, I think, for us. Um, we found new ways. I say this all the time, and I, I'm not just saying it or just blowing smoke out there. Farmville won't stop. We're going to figure out a way, because we've been God's people, we've been called to be God's people, and we're going to figure out a way to minister in our world. Uh, what are some of the ways that, although we're not meeting here on, in, in like Wednesday night small groups or Sunday morning small groups or worship service, what are some of the ways that you still felt um, connected other than drive-bys that maybe is happening that you could share with, with folks out there so that we, they know what's going to, kind of going on still? Well, us as a, the ladies, we have like a, a group that we text devotionals to every morning or just to check in and say, hey, how you doing? How you feeling? Do you need anything? Um, we do that almost every day. It's good. Yeah, and the same thing with us. I mean, um, you know, being a, a part of the men's group here that we meet on a Wednesday night, um, we've maintained that contact with folks from the men's group. Uh, we've also broken off uh, recently, somewhat recently, before the pandemic hit, uh, and we have some more small groups, some smaller groups of five to seven people. Um, me personally, uh, I'm in a separate small group, so really I have three groups, and we, we do the same thing. We share devotionals with one another. With one another. We know what's going on in one another's lives, whether you're going through struggles, whether it be a medical issue or, um, you know, an occupational concern, whatever the case is, and we're just there to win support. And we've done things. We recently got onto uh, the Zoom app, and we've been utilizing Zoom, um, which is which is a really awesome thing during this time period. Uh, it's just a way to connect and, and basically have a video teleconference, if you will, and to be able to connect and still feel that same, uh, that feeling as if you're sitting there together in the church, in the sanctuary, what have you, sharing, you know, your deepest thoughts, your feelings, sharing what your ideas about different ways that you can worship together, different ways that you found to worship, and what you may be missing or needing to just give someone an ear to listen to to say, hey, this, this may be something that they're needing. Um, and again, it just kind of it sparks something in people when you maintain that. So, we, again, we found many ways of doing that uh, uh, over this time period. That's good. Yeah, I've, I've heard of a lot of groups within our congregation doing Zoom stuff, uh, meetings. We're going to continue to do that. Um, and uh, our small group on Sunday morning has also done that. And I was telling somebody the other day, I had no idea how beautiful the people of Farm Hill are. They're so beautiful. When you look through the screen, we're all like Hollywood stars. I mean, it's uh, beautiful people. So... Um, I, I'm going to ask one last question, and uh, we'll let you guys get to it. But um, what do you look for, forward to the most when we're able to kind of uh, get out again? What are you looking forward to the most? Again, I think just coming together as a church, as a congregation. Um, you know, we make things happen in this church. Farmdale is a family in every sense of the word. We help one another. You know, we go out and, you know, we, we operate um, the, the, the food uh, uh, truck um, on Saturdays. Uh, we try to give back to the community by serving food and things to some that may not have food on a regular basis. Um, and, again, just to give back. You know, we've had groups in the church who've gone out and helped with local elementary schools and things of that nature. Just giving of your time uh, as God would ask you to do. Um, and it's that. We, we get together in one another's houses. We finish church and we go out to lunch together. Uh, you know, we have dinners at people's houses. We have, you know, there's everything. Teresa participates in, you know, baby showers, wedding showers. There's just, again, it's all of that social interaction with fellow Christians that feel like a family that make you feel and stay and remain connected to um, 
God, God's Word, and God's people. And that's really what I'm going to look forward to more than anything. It's just walking in, seeing all the smiling faces, and saying, ah, we're back. It's family. I miss the hugs. <laughs> just missing seeing the family uh, and hugging and talking to them and hearing their stories of what have they been doing since this all happened. Well, I think it's important when you hear what they're missing and what's still happening. Because please, Farmdale family, and anybody else out there, first of all, one, if it's Farmdale family and you're in need, you be sure you're contacting us, any of us. Or if you're just out there and you're hearing this and you feel like you're kind of lonely or you have a need of any sort, please contact us. We want to help you any way we can. The other thing is, is be sure you're plugging in. Um, as we kind of live somewhat in what I would call quarantine or isolation a little bit, is we can still put ourselves out there. Uh, don't don't allow yourself to be drawn back and away. Um, and so find ways like they're talking about to be involved and, and to keep connected. Uh, so we're asking you to do that. And we just want you all to know um, they've been coming a year and a half. We are a family around here. And we'll be the first to tell you that doesn't mean we're perfect, but, but we're family. And uh, when I look around, I'm thinking about when we get back together, one, it's going to be a party and celebration. We can come back together. Two, I'm thinking about who we're going to be bringing with us. Like, this is our family, and we want people to come be a part of that. And so uh, they're going to be working to do that. Everybody, we're asking everybody, be working now, inviting people. So when we get the, the uh, release, <laughs> we're going to come back and we're going to celebrate. We're going to continue to celebrate what Jesus is doing. It's, it, there's no doubt God is doing amazing things through this time right now. And we're hoping to grow through that and be a better church family for it. And so uh, we're going to continue to share our stories. I'm grateful for you, too, uh, that you came to do this, for one. And two, that you are my family. God's brought you here, and God's doing great things in your life. We're blessed to have you and call you family. And uh, so I hope that encourages you. And again, Chuck, Teresa, Hibbs. And uh, we'll be doing some more of this soon. So hope to see you soon. God bless. Well, it is true. The pastor always says you're a guest to our family always. So, I mean, it is true.